हेलो किड्स वेलकम बैक टू क्लास फाइव इंग्लिश गुलमोहर टेक्स्ट आई होप यू ऑल हैव दिस टेक्स्ट बुक विथ यू इट्स ग्रामर एंड लैंग्वेज स्किल्स फॉर क्लास फाइव ओपन पेज नंबर टू अ स्टोरी अबाउट किंग सोलमन लिसन टू दिस स्टोरी अबाउट how solomon the wise king solved a problem i will read the story you will all listen to the story carefully once an old woman was at the market when she walked past a bakery the wonderful aroma of freshly baked bread rose in the air the woman slowed and began enjoying it the baker who saw this became furious with the woman he demanded money for the smell of the bread the woman refused to pay since she had only smelt the bread and not tasted it the case was taken to king solomon king solomon was known for his wise and fair judgments the king listened to both sides of the story he agreed that the baker owned the bread so everything about the bread belonged to him the king said to the baker we always follow the law but we are also kind and generous people can't you forgive the poor old woman no i insist on the payment said the baker king solomon then ordered the old woman to count the coins and shake them together in her hands she shook them 3 times the king turned to the baker did you hear the clinking of the coins while she counted them yes replied the baker then you have been paid for the smell the old woman enjoyed she has paid you with the sound of the coins declared the king i hope all have understood the story right how king solomon solved the problem of the baker and the old woman now choose the correct option to complete these sentences about the story what did the old woman buy from the baker fresh bread cake nothing did she buy something children no she did not buy anything so you will tick nothing right the old woman did not buy anything the baker was angry because the woman stole some of his bread did not buy his bread enjoyed the aroma of his bread so what did the old woman do the old woman enjoyed the aroma of the bread so what has happened the baker was very angry write the words from the text that mean the same as fragrance means aroma large hearted means wise according to the story we have to write the answer for the story given here what was king solomon's final judgment king solomon's final judgment was that as baker had charged for what had not been consumed the woman paid with what cannot be used this was the judgment given by the king do you agree that king solomon was a just king explain why yes because he was known for his logical and fair judgments
as the date is shown here you have to do the page number 2 on the same day on the 31st read the question answers and then write it neatly in the textbook what is given to you in pencil here now go to page number 2 children today we are going to talk about the direct object and indirect object what do you think is a direct object? The direct object receives the action of the verb and answers the question what or whom about the verb. An indirect object comes after the verb, answers the question to whom or for whom such as Mala baked me a cake. Now what do you think is an object here? Cake is an object. So, it is a direct object. Cake is a direct object. And the receiver of the direct object is called as the indirect object. So, now let us go and see. Try to identify whether these sentences have only direct objects. Direct objects are mentioned as D-O and indirect objects are mentioned as I-D-O. What are we going to do is D-O words will be underlined, sorry, circled and I-D-O objects will be underlined. So here first one is an example which is given for us. I sent a letter. Letter is the direct object. To whom you are sending? You are sending it to your friend. He is your indirect object. Maya sang her favorite songs. Now we have only direct object here. So what is Maya doing? Maya is singing her favorite songs. My sister told me an interesting story. An interesting story is the direct object. For whom she is telling? She is telling me. So, me will be the indirect object. Nina bought us tickets for the play. Tickets is the direct object. For whom she is bringing the ticket? Us. So, us will be the indirect object. I need more time to finish this work. So, here we have only direct object. She gave the children some cookies. So, what is given? Some cookies is a direct object. For whom is she giving it? To the children. It is the indirect object. The children are playing hide and seek. So, what game they are playing? Hide and seek. It is the direct object. And who are playing it? The children are playing it. That is the indirect object. I brought a balloon for my younger sister. Now, a balloon will be the direct object. For whom it is brought? It is brought to the younger sister. Younger sister will be the indirect object object. Now we have reordered the second half of these sentence to make complete sense. Then circle the direct object and the tick the indirect object in them. Some sentences may not have both. But here now in these sentences what is given we have do Objects and IDO objects. He sent her a postcard. So, postcard is already circled and it is a DO direct object. For whom is it sent? It is sent to her. Then, her will be the indirect object. She showed me some old photographs. Now what has happened? Photograph is the direct object. For whom is she showing? She is showing it to me. So me will be the indirect object. Vidya played the piano very well. 
Now what happened here? We don't have any indirect object. We have only direct object that is the piano. My neighbor watered the flowers in the garden. Now here also we don't have any indirect object. We have only direct object that is flowers. What is she watering? Flowers. The carpenter fixed the door. It is. The door is fixed. That is the direct object. For us. For whom? Us. Us is the indirect object. She offered us a cup of tea. Now what is she offering? Tea. So tea is the direct object. And us will be the indirect object. I gave her my telephone number. Telephone number will be the direct object. And here she, her is the indirect object. When I brought a green bicycle. So here only bicycle will be the direct object. Now let us go for page number 4. Look at the new words that are formed by adding suffixes to some words. Now what are we going to do? Here we can see few words. Pay plus ment is equal to payment. Admit plus shun is equal to admission. Perform plus ans performance. Invite plus station. Invitation. Recite plus all. Recital. Now in this suffixes. That suffix is a group of letters that comes after a root or a base word. So there will be a root word and there will be a base word. So suffix are formed using both the terms. So suffix can change the meaning of the root word and make an entirely new word. It can be used by making the root word plus the another word or it can frame a new word completely. It can change the word. Now here in this Read these sentences given for us. Form words using the clues in column A. The root words in B and the suffixes in C. So here clues are given in column A and root words are given in column B and suffixes are given in column C. So here houses in the surroundings. What do we call the houses in the surroundings or the houses near our houses is called as neighbor. That is the root word plus suffix is hood. So it becomes neighborhood. So houses in the surrounding is called as neighborhood. The act of not accepting something. You are not going to accept something. Means what are you going to do? You are going to refuse. Refuse and then in suffix will be shin. Sorry. Refuse plus suffix will be all. So here refusal. Means you are not going to accept something. A group of objects of one type. Means we are going to collect. And after that, what happens? Collect plus the suffix will be shin. So, collection. A group of objects of one type is called as collection. Go ahead means permit. Permit plus shin is equal to permission. Result of hard work. Achieve. Then Suffix will be meant. So achievement. Now we will read the sentences given. And then we will refill in the blanks. Nathaniel has a very valuable stamp collection. 
he has been collecting stamps since he was 10 years old collection both suraj and i live in the same neighborhood my parents have given me permission to go on the school trip it is a big achievement for him to have won three matches in a row his refusal to be the team captain shocked everyone so how we use the suffixes what the suffixes are the words given in the end of the after the root word which connects the root word and you frame a new word and few other suffixes are meant ness it ness and ship friendship argument uh, the words such will come in the suffixes and you make or use a root word and one suffix and then frame a new word such as collection neighborhood permission achievement refusal now go to page number 5 children here punctuations read these sentences correct them using suitable capital letters commas and full stops you will do all your work in the textbook itself here what you have to do is see read the sentence first then where capital letters should be used where comma should be used and full stop should be used you have to mark it in the sentence so always when ever you write a sentence the starting letter of the sentence will be in capital so ranjit learned the rhyme r will be capital after rhyme there is a comma and then he went back to his teacher and recited it after recited it there will be a full stop j will be capital in the second question jane's favorite sports are hockey comma football and cricket after that they have a full stop there then continue yes capital she plays football very well full stop go to the next sentence third the t capital the himalayas h capital r a range of mountains in asia a capital fourth one meera said goodbye to her brother meera m capital after brother there is a comma put on her coat comma picked up her bag and walked to the parking lot then full stop fifth one dheeraj d capital draws after draws comma paints and does embroidery in his spare time after spare time full stop Sixth one, Ginger G capital. Ginger, my pet cat, has soft brown fur. After fur, there is a full stop. Then I capital it. Loves cuddling. After cuddling, comma chasing butterflies and sleeping. After sleeping, it's a full stop. next one seventh one yes y is capital deepak d is capital then you have a comma i have returned the books to the library full stop eighth one after a capital a long vacation comma shilpa s capital felt lazy to go back to school full stop the ninth question this parcel t capital needs to be delivered to salem s capital in t capital tamil nadu n capital and not salem yes 
capital in the United States. U capital and S capital and full stop in the end. Tenth one, suddenly, S capital, suddenly, after suddenly, a comma. A mouse ran across the street and frightened me. After me, there is a full stop. Now next is writing. A paragraph is group of sentences that talks about a common idea. A paragraph is made up of a topic sentence, supporting details and a concluding sentence. This topic sentence is a general statement about the main idea of a paragraph. The other sentences give us details that support the topic sentences. Now what are we going to do is we are going to write a paragraph using these points. Your writing will be more interesting with some humor in it. See lunchbox thoughts. Now few points are given. Looking into the points you have to frame sentences and make a Paragraph, interesting paragraph. See your lunchtime routine, the usual food that you have for lunch, your favorite food for lunch, give reasons. Any other favorite, just one or two. Your feelings before lunchtime starts. Using all these clues given in the box, you have to write the paragraph. I have given a sample paragraph for you. To show that how you have to write the paragraph. If you are interested, you can write it by your own. Your imaginary, your own paragraph with all the interesting lines and the humor. I have written a paragraph. We have a lunch break at 12.30 p.m. every day. This is a time we all eagerly wait for. Most of us have a quick lunch before we run off to play. I usually have rice or rotis with vegetables for lunch. Our school does not allow unhealthy food. My favorite food is rice because it is easy to eat and I can finish it fast and go to play. Sometimes... When it is almost time for lunch, my stomach starts growling and I begin to wonder what my mom have packed for lunch. Some of my classmates start getting restless and then our poor teacher gives us some activity that makes us forget about play and lunch for a while. If you are Interested to write something else except this paragraph, you can also do that. See children, on the 31st, you will do worksheet number 1, page number 2. And on the 1st, you will do page number 3. And on 2nd, you will do page number 4. And on the 3rd, you will do page number 5 and on the 5th you will do page number 6.